And the Blessy P says Billie Holiday is the voice of our people. I think we should integrate the audience for this show. Let's change it up a little bit. You know, blacks and whites sitting together. So Tyler, on your Instagram, you recently posted, um, here's the quote, before making this film, I was aware of Billie Holiday's contribution to music and black culture, but I wasn't fully aware of her fight as an iconoclast and civil rights activist. Hopefully this Black History Month, we'll all get an education on not only Billie, but all of those who came before us, whose stories were not taught to us in their totality. Can you talk a little bit about that? You know, what you learned and why this movie is so important? I, I think in my career, I've always been attracted to stories that I'm embarrassed for not knowing. Um, you know, I think it's that is the experience of a lot of young black people who have been in schools that we just there's stories we just don't know. And we grow up and we hear them and we're like, how did I somehow miss this? Or we got parts of the story and the whole thing wasn't necessarily told. And I think that's what I got from reading the script is it wasn't clear to me. We all knew Strange Fruit. We'd heard it before. You know, I, don't, I think it's like very hard to find anybody in the black community who's never heard it before. But we didn't understand the struggle and the fight behind getting that song out. We didn't realize that it was a mobilization of the federal government. That's that's a whole different context to that song and that story that we kind of need to have. So that's what you know drew me to this was telling that story accurately. I think this also speaks to the power of art. Like when you're talking about Strange Fruit, like how important one song or one movie can be. Geronte, did you have a Billie Holiday song that like while you were making this movie, maybe you knew before, but something that really like became your favorite while you're making the movie well strange fruit i mean it obviously but that was the that was the song that i played continuously every day just to drop me into the space and in, in solitude is a, is another song that i really love but but mostly strange fruit for sure tyler what about you you had to pretend to play you had to play all of them mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i do like get somewhere in between playing them and pretend to play them. because saxophone you can't learn that in three months um, it just kills everything that you know about theory. Um, but I would say for me, it was Lady Sings the Blues. There was something that's so chic about the movement of that song and it's classy and it's mysterious and it's dark and it's, it, it really helped drop me into the space in the sense of, you know, feeling the time. Um, I think that's what Billy did a really good job of is she put the time and the energy of the time on vinyl. You can play it and you can feel it. You can feel what the room feels like, the, the, the smoke in the air, the texture of the clothes when you hear it. Um, so that was the one for me. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. I think I'm gonna stop singing that song. Your grandkids will be singing Strange Fruit. 